For over a decade, the electric vehicle market has grown rapidly. According to the Intergovernmental International Energy Agency, the global electric car stock hit the 10 million mark in 2020. In the UK, the world's first pop-up solar car park is being unveiled to help rapidly grow the country's electric vehicle charging infrastructure. Papilio 3 is a mini pop-up solar car park that will allow you to charge 12 electric vehicles, partially from the sun and partially from the local electricity grid. And at the moment, we're rolling out charge points in ones and twos and threes. Papilio 3 allows us to put out 12 in one go. And by powering them from the sun, we're able to make maximum use of available grid capacity in the area that we're siting them. Well, on the basis that there are at least 50% of the population who don't live in houses where they can charge an electric vehicle at home, the obvious place is to put them in places where cars stand for several hours a day. So the obvious market is workplaces, so whether it's a factory or, a, or an office. And the other one is destinations such as theme parks, uh, railway station car parks, uh, shopping centres, where somebody is going to be standing the car for a minimum of two or three hours. With solar and battery booster charging, Papilio 3, developed by 3TI, can be deployed on site in just 24 hours. Papilio 3 has three technologies uh, in the box. The first is the uh, EV charging, 12 charge points. The second uh, is a battery and the third is the solar canopy. Um, and by integrating those systems together in a single package solution, um, it offers something that the world doesn't currently have. Charging when you stop rather than stopping to charge is the most sustainable model. Each unit supports a charging mixture of 7, 11 and 22 kilowatts. The batteries can store up to 250 kilowatts of power and the units are fitted with 36 solar panels. As the electric vehicle market continues to grow, innovations like this are necessary, especially as the UK government intends to end the sale of petrol and diesel vehicles by 2030. Leila Johnson-Salami, Arise News.